Hello, here we are again. This is the second course about ancient civilizations. Today, we will revise vocabulary, grammar, and pronunciation. Hello, Mrs. Ben Khalil. Hello, Mr. Dahmas. Hello, everybody. What activity have you prepared to revise vocabulary today? Today, we have prepared matching words with their synonyms. You have certainly pieces of advice to give to the pupils on how to uh, uh, tackle such an activity. Of course, when dealing with such an activity, uh, you have to pay attention to the category of words you are matching. Uh, is it a verb, conjugated or not? Is it an adjective or a noun in the plural or in the singular? This can help you do the activity. OK, let's start. Read the following sentences and focus on the underlined words. The Sumerians had no money, so they used to barter their agricultural products. Second sentence, Islamic civilization made great achievements in medicine, architecture, and astronomy. Third sentence, Howard Carter discovered the tomb of Tutankhamun in 1922. Sentence four, during the Ottoman rule, Algiers thrived and became an important city. And the last sentence, the pharaohs used to rule Egypt. Focus on the underlined words because these are the words you are going to match with their synonyms. Barter, rule, achievements, tomb, thrived. What category of words is the first? Barter. Right, it is a verb in the infinitive. Rule, again, is a verb in the infinitive. Achievements is a noun. It's in the plural, pay attention. Tomb is a noun in the singular. And thrived is a verb in the past simple. Now focus on the synonyms. Let's look for a word which is a noun in the plural. A, a verb that is in the past simple two verbs that are in the infinitive. This can make the exercise easy to do. All right? Exchange is the synonym of barter, and govern is the synonym of rule. Both are verbs in the infinitive without two. Accomplishment is the synonym of achievements, since they are both in the plural. Grave, the synonym of tomb, as it is in the singular, and prospered, the, the synonym of thrived, which are both verbs in the past simple. That's all for our vocabulary exercise. Let's move to grammar now. Uh, Mrs. Ben Khalil, when we uh, speak about past events, we use past tenses, particularly uh, the simple past tense or the past perfect. And these tenses are used with time conjunctions. What are these time conjunctions? This is what we are going to study today. We're going to see how to use the past simple and the past perfect with time conjunctions. Let's start. Focus on the following sentence and its representation on the timeline. Let's read the first sentence together. After the Egyptians had mummified the pharaoh, they buried him in the pyramid. What do you notice? Right. There are two verbs on the timeline because we have two actions that happened in the past, but they didn't happen at the same time. What's the tense of the first verb, had mummified? Right, it is in the past perfect. What's the tense of the second verb, buried? Good, it is in the past simple. Now, what did we use to link the two actions? Yes, we used the time conjunction after. We can also write the same sentence in different ways, as you can see. After the Egyptians had mummified the pharaoh, they buried him in the pyramid. We can also say, the Egyptians buried the pharaoh after they had mummified him. Second sentence. Before the Egyptians buried the pharaoh, they had mummified him. And we can say, the Egyptians had mummified the pharaoh before they buried him. The Egyptians didn't bury the pharaoh until they had mummified him. 
What do you notice? Which action comes after each time conjunction? Yes, after the time conjunction after, we find the first action, which is in the past perfect. Whereas after the, uh, after the time conjunction before, we have the second action, which is in the past simple. Why? The answer is logical, because after and before are opposite in meaning. Let's move now to the sentence with until. The Egyptians didn't bury the pharaoh until they had mummified him. Which action comes after the time conjunction until? The first action in the past perfect. Which action comes before the time conjunction until? The second action, which is in the past simple. Now, what form is the verb in the past simple? Right, it's in the negative form, didn't bury. Now let's move to the second sentence with until. The pharaohs had reigned in Egypt until the Romans defeated them. What do you notice? Which verb is before until? Yes, this time the past perfect is before uh, the time conjunction until. And which one is after the time conjunction until? Right, this time the past simple comes after the time conjunction until. Why is that? This is because the action of reigning happened first and lasted until the Romans interrupted it. Consider the examples given and complete the chart to get the sentence structure. After the Egyptians had mummified the pharaoh, they buried him in the pyramid. After, or also the time conjunction as soon as, plus the subject, plus the blank, plus the subject and the blank that you have to fill. Second sentence. Before the Egyptians buried the pharaoh, they had mummified him. The structure that you have to complete starts with before this time. Before plus subject plus the blank plus the subject plus the blank. The third sentence with until. Let's start with the first one with A. The Egyptians didn't bury the pharaoh until they had mummified him. The sentence structure here is subject plus the blank that you have to fill and we helped you with in the negative until and the subject plus the blank. The second sentence B. The pharaohs had reigned in Egypt until the Romans defeated them. The second structure starts with the subject plus the blank plus until, plus the subject, and the blank. Let's correct now. The time conjunctions after and as soon as are followed by the right, by the past perfect, then the subject, and the past simple. The second one, the time conjunction before, is followed after the subject by the past simple, and then the subject and the past perfect, right. Now let's move to the third one with until. Don't forget that we have two possibilities. Let's start with A. We have the past simple in the negative, then the time conjunction until, and the verb in the past perfect. Whereas the structure B, we have the past perfect until, and then the past simple. Let's move to the practice now. Give the correct form of the verbs in brackets. The Arabs to conquer Persia before they to spread the Islamic culture and civilization. Second sentence. After the Phoenicians to settle in the Maghreb, they to build trading posts. Sentence three. As soon as the archaeologists to excavate the remains, they to display them in the museum. And the last sentence. The French not to leave Algeria until the Algerians to defeat them. To do this, this activity, pay attention to the time conjunctions. They will help you with the right tense. Let's correct. The Arabs had conquered Persia before 
they spread the Islamic culture and civilization. The second sentence, after the Phoenicians had settled in the Maghreb, they built trading posts. As soon as the archaeologists had excavated the remains, they displayed them in the museum. And the last sentence, the French didn't leave Algeria until the Algerians had defeated them. Let's move to the second activity now. You are going to combine the following sentences using the time conjunctions in brackets. Make the necessary changes. The Phoenicians arrived in Mesopotamia. They became town dwellers. We are going to combine these two sentences with the time conjunction as soon as. Second sentence. Egyptologists studied the Rosetta Stone. They were able to decipher hieroglyphs. Link the two sentences with before this time. The third and last sentence. The Ottomans remained in Algeria. The French invaded Algiers in 1830. This time, you combine the two sentences using the time conjunction until. Are you ready? Let's correct. As soon as the Phoenicians had arrived in Mesopotamia, they became town dwellers. Egyptologists had studied the Rosetta Stone before they were able to decipher hieroglyphs. And the last one, the Ottomans had remained in Algeria until the French invaded Algiers in 1830. That's all for our grammar activity, Mr. Dahmas. Thank you very much, Mrs. Ben Khalil. We have learned a lot. The third part of our course today will be about pronunciation or sound system. We're going to see how to pronounce the final ED. I heard you, Mrs. Ben Khalil, pronouncing the final ED in three verbs in different ways. You said flourished, remained, irrigated. Is there any rule on how to pronounce the final ED in English, Mrs. Ben Khalil? Of course, this is what you are going to study now. Let's start. Listen to these verbs. What do you hear at the end? Developed, evolved, irrigated. Right, we heard T in developed, D in evolved, and id with irrigated. Let's do our activity and find when we have to, we pronounced it, we pronounce the ed, t, d, or id. Listen to these verbs and focus please on the last sound before the ed. Write its phonetic transcription next to it. Stopped, looked, laughed, produced, flourished, reached, froth, rubbed, privileged, transformed, prospered, refined, used, realized, traveled, argued, backed, thrived, destroyed, Died, burrowed, started, ended, founded, yielded, wanted. Right, let's correct. Which sound did we hear in the first column? Good, t. Now let's correct the first list to see which sound we heard just before the sound Stopped, p, looked, k, laughed, f, produced, s, flourished, sh, reached, ch, and frothed, th. Listen to the second part. Rubbed, privileged, transformed, prospered. Refined, 
used, realized, traveled, backed, thrived, destroyed, died, burrowed. Let's correct now. Which sound did you hear this time for the final ED? Good, this time we heard the sound D. Let's correct to see which sound appears before ED in each of these verbs. Rubbed, B. Privileged, J. Transformed, M. Prospered, R. Refined, N. Used and realized, even though it's written with an S and with a Z, we hear the sound Z. Traveled, L. Begged, G. Thrived, V. Destroyed. Here we hear a sound, a vowel sound or a diphthong, OI. And it's the same with other diphthongs like A or I. So all the verbs that end with a vowel sound, like died or burrowed, even if it is a W, but what we hear is a vowel sound. Right? Listen now to the third list. Started, ended, founded, yielded, wanted. Let's correct the third part. Which sound did you hear now for the final ED? Yes, good. This time we heard the final ED, ID. Let's correct to see which sounds appear before the final ED. Started, T, ended, D, founded, D, yielded, D, wanted, T. As you can see, this time, we have only two sounds, t and d. Let's sum up now to see with which sound we heard the final ed, t. This is with the sounds p, k, s, f, sh, ch, or th. Let's sum up now for the second column which is the biggest one. It's heard D with the sounds B, J, M, R, N, Z, L, G, V, and the vowel sounds OI, or I, or A. The third column, of course, is the shortest because we just have two sounds, the sound T and D. Now, Let's do the activity, it's your turn. Classify these words according to the pronunciation of their final ED. I'm not going to pronounce them because this will help you. So we'll wait you for a few seconds and then we correct. Are you ready? Let's start. Studied. D. Invaded. Id. Deciphered. D. Remained. D. Defeated. Id. Established. T. Died. D. Attacked. T. Collapsed. T. That's all for our pronunciation exercise today, Mr. Dahmas. Thank you very much, Mrs. Ben Khalil. Welcome. Next time, we'll go on with ancient civilization. We'll see other activities about vocabulary, grammar, and pronunciation. By the way, our next grammar lesson will be about the use of used to, had to, was or were able to, plus, uh, as well as the comparative and superlative of quantifiers. Revise them. Thank you for attention. Goodbye. Goodbye, see you next time.